Hi guys, so this is what the leather looks like when it's clean. The black marks, you can see I'm trying to hold it so you can see it. It's pretty much gone. The leather will stay this nice honey color. I wish it was a bigger piece, but I, as soon as I get this stuff, I like to clean it. This is something I've had. Um, I'm trying to show you, it's not really cracked, but they're just wrinkles in there. And um, if I wanted to, there you go, it's a little cracking, but it's okay. But um, you see the two little the black marks right here. Um, I could treat this again, but it makes the whole piece like this one even color. But I just want to show you if you remember on this side what it looked like. And you can see it's still a little tiny bit just because of the wrinkling. But um, I'm going to pull it that way. And you can see it's definitely better. And it's only after one treatment I will try you can see a lot of it's gone it makes it shiny it really gives it a finish you gotta um remember it's very important you have to use the suds you can't just use it straight it'll strip it even though this leather is stripped to begin with you um use the foam i scrub it use a toothbrush because i can get in the crack the wrinkles in the cracks but if you um want to put a nice smooth shiny finish on it like this like the edges get polished you take a dry sponge and you just whip you just take the sponge and you just pull it through and um yeah I know I make stinky videos but this is it I'm not uh yeah I'm not uh there you go okay I will try to do more cleaning videos but I use baby wipes but this was like smelly and dirty and I figured let me just use saddle soap it really cleans it like, again, you have to use the suds, and this is not for everybody. If you're a little nervous, don't try it. This is an older piece, so I just said, oh, look at the dirt, and let me try it, because I had a lot of people request it, and I'm trying to show you different angles. Um, it does, like, if you see the edges, when you wipe, pull it through a dry towel or a dry sponge, the, the, the glycerin, like, buffs it and polishes it. And I promise I didn't use anything else other than the one treatment you saw me doing prior. And I'll just pull it that way for you to see inside there. And, um, all right, any questions or comments? Thanks for watching. I did not wax this piece because it doesn't need it. The waxing, like in here, I'm not that worried. Maybe when this dries a little more. I mean, it's dry. But um, I might do one more treatment. And then I'll let it sit for a week before I put the wax on. Because the wax will seal any moisture in there. And that will make it crack more. So the best thing is to keep the leather just dry and clean. And um, glycerin soap is pH balanced, not to strip the leather if you use it the right way. All right, I know I'm focusing terribly. But um, like I said, I've been asked to do this. And we all know I make stinky videos. But okay, any questions, comments? Thank you. Leave thumbs up.